Hello guys, uh, welcome to the vlog. So this vlog um, is kind of different. Uh, so, uh, a few weeks back, there was a photographer in, who lives in my city who, uh, put out a story that said model call for, uh, for couples that were already married. And we just had to like send her an email and a picture from like our wedding date and stuff like that. And my friend actually sent this to me and I kind of put it off cause I was like, Oh, I have to get my dress dry cleaned. I still haven't done that. We've been married almost a year. But still haven't done that um and uh yeah so I was like I don't know if we'd be eligible and stuff like that because of that but then I I told Zach about it and he was like oh you should email and just like give it a shot and it turns out we were picked the uh photographer emailed me and said she wants us to be her models for uh kind of this marketing shoot that she's doing so there I need to clean my dress I called the dry cleaners and this was like, when I got the email, it was a week away from the photo shoot, like it's happening this week. And she, and they said it takes like five to seven business days to get the dress clean, which I, we didn't have that time. So, and it's also really expensive, dry, uh, dry cleaning your wedding dress. So I'm just gonna try to hand wash it. And I am watched some YouTube videos, looked up lots of like blogs and stuff like that. So I kind of think I know what to do. And my dress is not extremely dirty. I'm gonna show you it here. So this is my dress here. It's quite long, but so the, the bodice is fine. Like I'm not gonna be cleaning any of this because it's not dirty in any way. Um, there's only a few really stains, like there's this ink stain right here that I need to try to get rid of. And then there's like this kind of stain at the back. I'll try to turn this around. So I think it was because, oh yeah, it's down here. I don't know what this is from, but it's on there. And then of course the bottom is dirty. So. I'm gonna try to get this out. Kind of what I read on the internet is what you need is you need like white or clear hand soap um, to get rid of ink stains. So that one stain in the front you use rubbing alcohol and uh, like a cotton, I said cotton ball, but I only have cotton pads. So we're gonna, I think that's like kind of the same thing. Um, and then it's said for like chiffon, uh, which is what I have. You have to be very careful because you can create water stains on it. So, um, and also to use something delicate to clean, to spot clean. So the person in the video I watched said to use a piece of silk. I don't have a piece of silk, but I do have a piece of chiffon because this was from like my hemming and stuff. And they, my, the bridal salon gave this to me. Guess, I guess because you you technically buy the whole dress, they give you everything back. So I thought it's, and this is just to be like more gentle on the fabric. So I think this would be fine. So I'm going to try that. Um, and also you need a blow dryer to blow dry it. And to blow dry when you have a stain on your chiffon. So the first layer here to like go outward in to dry it. So you don't have any water stains. But I think the first thing I'm going to start off easy, I'm going to like separate the chiffon layer and then do the bottom that is not chiffon. So like the inside, there's like a bunch and like if there's a water stain on that, it really doesn't matter because it won't show. So I'm going to do that first. That's why I'm in my bathroom. I'm going to do it in my bathtub and see how we're going to do this. I'll try to set, the, set up the camera so you guys can watch like a little time lapse. But yeah, let's try to clean this big dress. Okay, so I just finished scrubbing all of the hems. And so on like the chiffon layer and the like inside layers 
And so I'm gonna blow dry it now. That took like an hour, so that's a really long time of scrubbing. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you the dress here before I blow dry. So yeah, I just scrubbed all the bottom. I didn't get everything out, like, like still definitely a little gray. I'm hoping like once I dry it, it will be less gray, but the way I think of it, it's a bottom. Since we're gonna be going for this photo shoot, it's all gonna get dirty again. Anyway, I'm more concerned about like this little spot here that I still have to do and the spot on the back that I showed you earlier. So I'll show you that after. I just wanna dry this first so that there's no water stains. So yeah, let's do that. So I just finished drying it. Um, it's like mostly dry, I would say. I think I'm gonna let the like the chiffons for sure dry. It just might be the the middle layers that are not. So I'm gonna try to tackle this ink stain and with the rubbing alcohol. So I'll show you the before. So it's right here. The nice thing about my dress is that it has like this ruching, so like it could be hidden, but it also could be seen. So I'm just gonna take the rubbing I'm watching YouTube as well I do this because this is like a really long task. Um, some rubbing alcohol and uh, some cotton pads and see how that works. Okay, so I just rubbed the ink stain with the rubbing alcohol and you can kind of see the stain, like the liquid stain there now, but all of the ink is gone. This is what the cotton pad like looks like and I just like dabbed it. it was super gentle and it came right off which is amazing and uh yeah so I'm gonna blow dry this I think I forgot to mention I've been blowing I've been uh while I'm using the blow dry I'm using like the cool air like if you have that setting on your um blow dryer that's really important uh just like not a heat dry so yeah I'm gonna dry this and hopefully this like water stain goes away but I think it will all right, so this is what it looks like. I just dried it. If you really pull it out, you can kind of see it. You can't even see it really on camera, but you can kind of see a line. But when it's like this, you can't see it all. So now I'm gonna tackle the stain at the back. I'm kind of contemplating using rubbing alcohol instead of soap, just because I don't know what this stain is. Like I know for sure it's not um, ink. But who knows, like, just some kind of marks. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna try that just cause it was so seamless with the, and the soap didn't work on some of the places on the bottom. So, which I'm, I don't care cause it's gonna get dirty again on the bottom, but I'd love to get this one fully out. So I'm gonna try that. Okay, so the stain is still there. This is after doing rubbing alcohol and doing like a spot clean with a little bit of chiffon fabric and soap. And it's definitely still there, but I don't think it's as vibrant. And like I said, like with my ruching, I'll have to dry it a little bit more. It's not super dry yet. Um, it's, you know, you won't be able to see it. And it's also at the back. So I'm thinking it's gonna be okay. I knew like, you know, washing by hand at home was not, gonna give me the best results but you know save me a little bit of money and also time crunch for this photo shoot so i'm gonna dry this a little bit more and then i'm gonna leave it to dry and then i'll steam it probably tomorrow and then the next day is our photo shoot so yeah that's kind of how i am cleaning my uh wedding dress at home guys uh today is wednesday so this is continuing off my uh clips that i did of cleaning my wedding dress because today is the photo shoot day i'm so excited a little nervous because like i've never apart from my wedding never really been 
like photograph before and even our like photographer for our wedding uh wasn't like wasn't technically a professional she was like our friend who um was like picking up like kind of as a hobby like photography so um yeah but it's gonna be really fun to like experience being photographed by an actual photographer today and so i steamed my dress today i had like a little clip of that i didn't I had to hang it on my on her front door like on the hinge because it's just so long that like because a lot of it drapes on the ground um so to get like as much as I can uh of the length to steam it because mostly it was the bottom that needed steaming so I finished that I and then I just curled my hair I did the same curls I did in the get ready with me she said uh, the photographer asked if I could do my own hair and makeup and I was like, yeah, I'm fine with that as long as you don't need a crazy updo because I cannot do that. And she said, yeah, uh, simple curls is fine. So I did that. I'm letting, gonna let them cool until I let them out. We still have like quite a bit of time. It's 4.39 right now and we're not going, the shoot doesn't start until 7.30 and uh it's an hour away from where we live so we'll have to I have to eat and like put my makeup on and stuff and all that jazz but today has been a really productive day i was kind of feeling meh yesterday like my stomach was kind of hurting all day and i wasn't really as productive as i wanted to be so i wanted but so today i really wanted to get a lot of things done and i did so i want to show you guys my to-do list uh, because I'm really proud of myself, so kudos to me. So I have my iPad here, and the way I like to plan is I use this app called GoodNotes, and then I just made this like kind of outline, like all that you see in black, I made as an outline on an app called Canva. And so uh, I only had this on my to-do list, but I had like, my to-do list is kind of here as well. It's just like scheduled. So yeah, so like, as you can see, I had my workout, I showered, I did some work uh, on some math for uh, for next year. I steamed my dress, I had lunch, I did my nails. I, uh, uh, this uh, Unpack Your Impact is a PD book I'm working on right now. I did some skip counting activities and then I forgot to check it off, but I did do my hair. And yeah, so I'm like kind of killing it today. So yeah, and um I did do my nails. Um, they are honestly horrible. They are disgusting. I never do my nails because I kind of like the way my natural nail looks and uh, I feel like just regular nail polish, just like it's, this is gonna chip by tomorrow, 100%, and it's just gonna look really bad. So I just don't bother. Uh, I think it's just like so time consuming to do and I can't justify getting my nails done at the salon all the time. So yeah, but I thought for the photo shoot, she's, it's not like she's going to get a close up of my fingernails. And if she does, you know, she'll probably just delete those photos because of how rank my manicure is. So yeah, I am going to probably have some dinner soon, probably in about like 20 minutes. I have, we're having salad tonight. So kind of like the salad we made before in the other video, but this time um, we're using the creamy dill pickle salad. This is from Costco. It's really popular, at least where I'm from, it's really popular. It has like the like chopped up greens and stuff. And then like it comes with a seasoning, a, um, what's it called, dressing and some like, they're kind of like croutons, but they're really, really small. They're like more like breadcrumbs in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, and then we just put our chicken in there and that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. And then I'll be doing my makeup after, Zach's gotta get ready and then we'll be heading to the venue. Oh, all right, I'm back. So I had some dinner. Zach came home from the gym and had some dinner as well. I finished my makeup. I, you know, did my normal face and then kind of just went a little extra with the eyes um and i like how it turned out i don't have my lips on yet because i'll do that before we leave and stuff um uh i want the reason why i'm popping on is i want to show you why i don't freaking paint my nails because exhibit a like i did this at 12 30. ah 
frustrates me. So I'm gonna try to fix this. Hopefully it looks okay because then it goes tacky. I think the another reason is why is why like this turned out so bad was because my nail polish is quite old. Because I don't do my nails, so therefore I don't buy nail polish. La di da di da. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to fix this, and uh, then we probably will be leaving in yeah less than 30 minutes so yeah super excited all right guys so we are now in the car on our way to the event the event is or the venue the venue is like 50 minutes away so around an hour um so a little bit of a drive but i'm excited never been to this wedding venue before um i'll make sure to link the photographer and all the vendors like that we're gonna be like dealing with today. I don't know how much we're gonna be able to film, uh, but hopefully a few clips here and there um, of how this is going. Uh, Zach is all in his suit. He's ready to go. Almost, Almost. yeah, his jacket is just back there. Um, but yeah, we'll show you guys the full look uh, once we get there. Yeah.